Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Aladdin. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to stage two after a bit more story. Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards and run to Aladdin's home high above Agrabah. There, they enjoy the view and discuss their dreams for the future. Unfortunately, they are found by the guards, who drag Aladdin off to the palace dungeon and Jasmine back to her father, the Sultan. Aladdin is thrown into the deepest cell of the dungeon, but all he can think about is the beautiful princess. A strange old man appears, offering to set Aladdin free if he'll come on an adventure to the Cave of Wonders. Glad to get out of prison, Aladdin doesn't suspect that the old man is actually Jafar in disguise. Spoilers! It actually follows the movie pretty decently, uh, for the most part. So, we're already here in the Cave of Wonders. Now here is going to introduce these uh, stalagmites or stalactites. I always forget which one it is. Whichever one it is for the ones that are above. You can see the um, in them there's a little bit of an outline where they're going to crack and break off. So you can tell that it's going to fall. Because some of them won't. Most of these will though. For some of them you'll need to make them fall so that you can then grab the uh, gems without, um, without getting hurt. You can touch the spikes and all that. It'll just damage you. You don't instantly die. Um, but obviously you don't want to be doing that just willy-nilly. Here you got little bats, which you can either jump on or you can miss with the apple and then eventually hit them. So those are one of the, the little enemies that the apple will just outright kill. There's, uh, there's a couple of different little enemies throughout the game that we can use it for. Be careful, though, of just killing them right away because some of them you'll actually need to, uh, to jump on to reach certain things like this one here. You need that guy to be able to reach that. Now, if you don't reach it the first time, uh, just back up, make another one spawn, and try again. Now, here, I'm going to make sure I get that scarab. Certain things like this, where once you make that uh, this thing fall, like, that's it. You don't, It's not going to come back. I think leaving the screen and coming back, I don't think it ever respawns. So, for some things, you only get the one shot. So, be careful. Now... I'm not going to try to grab, again, all these gems, but I'll grab at least, uh, well, definitely all the red ones. But, uh, the green ones, there will be some that I'm just going to pass by. It's, it's fine. I don't need them all. All right. That one's kind of dangerous, uh, in the sense of missing it because you only get two attempts at it because both of these will then break and then you can't reach it after. Uh, you got to jump decently high on that. You kind of get a feel for when you're on the swing, uh, when the time to jump to get the maximum height. Now, Boo's telling us to go ahead and save, uh, to go down here, so I'll go ahead and trust him. Although, I'm pretty sure the fall there without my rug would just break my legs, or something would get broken, I'm sure. These guys, they are, they are unaffected by the apples. They give no shits. But you can only jump on them when they're uh, not swinging. These guys you can jump on, as well as throw at, which is it's kind of, it's kind of funny when they, when they die. Just, oh, they just fly apart. Now, here we got our little uh, carpet buddy, which, oh, yeah, he totally just stands out, and you just walk past him, and all of a sudden, Abu freaks out. But he says, come on, follow me. You don't actually get the dialogue from the movie and all that. Well, I say dialogue. The rug never actually talked, but considering it's only a rug, it actually communicated pretty well with its uh, body language. All right, let's 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 try to get the genie, because honestly, I, I really don't remember what you get for it. I'm going to try to time it to where I'm going to hit it when the thing I want is underneath the genie's finger. I'm not sure if that's the actual timing for it or not. Does look like it's gonna be, or I just kind of mistimed it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're so close. That's gonna be the goal, because the stars are conti or continues credits, one up, two up. The heart will just refill your HP, I think. The genie might be the, considering it's the small space. Maybe it's just like everything. I assume that's the big jackpot. Now Boo's gonna fly off with the carpet, leaving us to uh, manage on our own here. For some reason, we don't get to ride. Now, I am going to get some of these guys out of the way, but this guy, I want him alive to come with me to get me up to that. 
And then now I can... You know what? I was about to... Oh, I killed the... I killed the, uh... I killed the bat I need. Remember what I said earlier about not killing them too quickly in case you need them? Well, here's case in point. Uh, case in point. Case in point. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Holy crap! What did I do there? Uh, I can fix this, though. And actually, we don't need him. We have these, uh, here. And these, these are the ones that don't break. Just gotta hang on this for a bit. And it will slowly come back down. You'll kind of see me slip around a little bit because, honestly, I'm always holding the run button because I can't stand to not be running. Even if it is going to sometimes get me in trouble instead of slowing down. There's, there's a few parts where I might let off of it, but for the most part, it's it's full speed ahead. <laughs> Until we reach parts like this where I have to slow down because I have to duck. Wait till the last second just to give myself a little extra breathing room. You get plenty of room, though. It, it comes back down pretty slowly. Now, here's the big gem that freaking Abu picks up in the movie, which it's it's one of the reasons why, a, a, as a kid, I didn't really like Abu's character, purely because he pissed me off from that. He told him, don't touch anything, and he just, he couldn't keep it in his pants for just a few more seconds, and then it's the whole reason that, that just shit went uh, south uh, in the cave, but anyways. Now, here, there's actually something if you float on down. You wouldn't necessarily know it uh, the first time, but you, I guess you could hang from the ledge. You might be able to see, but you start to get kind of a feel where they're going to hide some stuff. So we have not only that, but we have another health extension. I'm trying to remember what's the max health. I think it's, uh, it's, it's, whoa, that's what it is. Uh, it should be 10. We should reach it by the end of this. Abu, no! Stupid monkey! Infidels! And that's gonna be it for stage two. So I'm sure you can guess what the next stage is gonna be if you know the movie. We got all the gems, everything good so far. Stage two down. In the next video, we will head on to stage three. So I'll see you then.